Hi, I'm Sarah Smelt from Felt Evolution and this is my very first of what I hope will be many videos um, where I share with you my passion for felting and felt evolution. Um, I would love in this series of videos to share with you some cool tutorials, some felting tips and tricks I've picked up over the last few years and just generally start a conversation with you, get some excitement going about felting. We'll talk about traditional felting, Nuno felting. I'll even throw in a little bit of needle felting for you guys. And if you have any questions, feel free to write in and I can do a video um, answer, I can answer your questions. So um, I'm looking forward to the interaction. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started straight away with the first project I'm gonna demo for you. And that is to make these woolly wish stones. What is a woolly wish stone? Well, it's a felted rock with a secret. And all of these stones here, all of these felted rocks are made using felt evolution um, merino wool from the merino wool line. There's six different shades here. And this project is super easy to do. It, um, a child can do it, an adult can do it, complete beginners can do it. And you will be amazed how addictive they are. You will not believe how quickly you will have a pile of woolly wish stones. It's a lot of fun. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is to find your stones or, or rocks that you're gonna to use to make your woolly wish stones. Try saying that three times fast. Um, if you are lucky enough to live by the beach, not mentioning any names, you can go and gather a few um, stones up from the beach. Otherwise, these are available in bags at garden centers and at the 99 cent store, Dollar Tree, Joanne's Michaels General Craft Stores. And the other thing to pick up while you're at the craft store is a um, Sharpie or similar oil-based marker pen. And make sure it's oil-based. The water-based ones, even though they say Sharpie, are going to come off um, when you get these wet and soapy. So I have a gold marker. And then you can decide what your wish is going to be. And you can either just write a general I wish... so that you or anybody else that uses the woolly wish stone can make their own wish, or you can wish somebody a particular wish, like for example, I wish you love. And you don't even need to tell them what this is, it's nice, just a, a nice thought that you're passing on to somebody. The next thing you need to do is to choose the wool that, you can, that you're going to use. And here is the um, Shades of Grey palette from Felt Evolution. Again, with the six shades of grey going from white to grey, pewter, silver, black and glacier. All of these can be bought separately also. I'm going to use the grey because I love the variegated effect of this wool. So I'm going to open up the rope of wool and I'm going to lay two pieces of wool out on the towel and I'm going to repeat that doing two rows of three pulls of wool. Okay, and then I'm going to do a second layer at the 90 degree angle across the lower rows. Okay, then I'm going to place my wish stone in the wool and wrap it up and I'm going to fold in the edges as I start and wrap it up fairly tightly so you have a little bundle of wool. If you'd like to add a different color accent here I'm going to use some white just pull a thin strip and you can wrap a little bit around. Okay so here is your woolly wish stone ready to be felted. So once you have your stone wrapped up in wool, you take some uh, warm water, and usually for felting I say the hotter the water, the faster the wool will felt, but really lukewarm water is better for this. Um, if you go too hot, the wool will felt too fast and you're likely to get cracks in your wool. So you're gonna take some dish soap, really this doesn't have to be fancy soap, I use palm olive, but really you can use what you like, and you're just gonna put a lot of soap into the water and just, mix it up okay then you are going to take your stone and dip it in 
the hot water, the warm water. And then you're just gonna start gently tossing it from one hand to the other. At the moment, you're not adding any kind of um, rolling or friction, just tossing it backwards and forwards. And you can see really quickly how the wool starts to change form. Okay, then slowly as you continue, just add a little bit of roll, rolling between your palms and pass the stone back and forth until you start rubbing almost as if you're washing your hands with soap. Every now and again, dip back into the hot water and then keep on rubbing. And you can see already how the fibers have turned to um, a fabric, but they're still kind of baggy on the, on the rock. So just keep working. And as you keep working the stone, you can increase your pressure. Okay, so I'm rubbing all the edges, rubbing the surface. And can you see how the white wool has just embedded itself into the gray? It's felting into the gray, it's not no longer moving. So keep working. This is a great way to get kids' hands clean. Little boys love this. So keep dipping it in, dipping it in, and rolling, rolling, rolling. And you can see quite quickly that it is beginning to hug the rock. Now you can just continue doing this for several minutes and you will see how the wool shrinks to the rock and you'll actually feel the wool getting thicker and more robust. If you want to help the wool felt, you can dip it into cold water as well every now and again and then back into the hot water that shocks the fibers into felting. But you can see after a few minutes, it's felted to the rock. Now, if you want to take the easy, some may say lazy route, you can take a knee high stocking and after you've started the felting process, you can put your partially felted rock into the knee high stocking. And you can put several um, rocks in here and don't knot it, but just bow it slightly. Throw this and any other rocks that you may have in your top loading washer. I've not tested this in a front loader, so don't blame me if anything breaks. But you're gonna just add all your stockings into a top loading washing machine and um, run it through on a, um, the lowest, the smallest wash you can do at the highest temperature. You may need to do it twice between the washes, take out the stone and see if it looks nicely felted. And if it's felted, the fibers will no longer be moving and it won't be fluffy. And that is your um, easy way to do the felted rock. When you're finished and take your stones out of the washing machine or you're finished doing these by hand, just give them a rinse under the cold tap and then soak them in some cold water with about an eighth of a cup, about this much water with about eighth of a cup of white vinegar. And that's just gonna neutralize any remaining soap. Rinse them after five minutes and leave them to air dry make loads of them and give them to all your friends or make perfect table decorations.